How's it going today, everybody? So, guys, welcome to the Hump Day Tarot Scope. I'm going to be using the Fairy Tarot Card Deck. This is a Dorian Virtue Deck. And I'm going to pull one card per sign for a weekly Tarot Scope reading. So I think this is like kind of a cool option if you don't have tons of time to sit around and watch an entire video. But if you do have time, you know, I, I, um, I post general readings by sign once a week so you could always check those out if you want to have like if you have 10 or 15 minutes and you want to do like a deeper dive but if you just have a few minutes and you want to get a, a quick snapshot of what's going on for the week coming up ahead this is a really great option so i will be pulling like one card per sign and doing a little mini terrascope reading for the week coming up ahead and i'm going to start with aquarius and what I do is mark the time as I'm going through so you can just zip ahead to whatever your sign is or if you want to watch multiple or if you want to watch the whole thing, it's totally up to you. This is your decision. So I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times here. And I do start with Aquarius and somebody asked me why I start with Aquarius instead of Aries. Um, it's because it's January, you know, um, and I just move all the way through. Plus, it's my dad's sign. So um, I start there. So anyway, I'm gonna start with Aquarius right away, guys. I'm just about to pull a card here for Aquarius. So here we go. So the card I pulled for Aquarius is the moon. So the guidance, there's guidance right on these cards and this says, powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. So I think this is really an important card to sometimes know that, you know, if you're worried about something and you think that you're having an intuitive flash about it, it might not be your intuition. It could be your fear speaking. So really get to know the difference between a gut feeling and your fear, especially if you're sitting up in the middle of the night, you guys, with some sort of issue and you're rolling over it in your head and you sort of build up this story around it really important to get to know yourself especially if you've got a situation that's giving you a little bit of anxiety i think this is a really important card for you to remember because it does say understanding the truth of a situation so you could be coming up across something in the upcoming few days where you know you might jump to a conclusion that's not necessarily a good thing you guys um make sure you do your investigation and sometimes your gut feeling is wrong you know, I really like to use intuition as a tool, but it's not always right. So guys, just, you know, pay attention to all the signs, not just one sign. Okay, guys, I hope this was a good card for you. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. Welcome, Pisces. So your hump day tarot scope card here is the eight of autumn. Um, so this is the fairy tarot card deck and it says here, do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships. Excellent, craft, excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. I really, really have one sort of vibe jumping out at this card for you guys right away. Do more research before proceeding. Um, you know, if you have an interest in something, that's really cool, you know, but if before you go and invest a whole ton of your time and money into doing something, make sure that you know everything about it, you know, and seeing the words hidden fees here, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about further educating yourself and pursuing your passion, but for some reason, I'm just seeing there could be a bit of more of a cost to you than you would initially expect. And that could be with regard to your finances or the amount of time that you're going to have to spend on something, which is really important, especially if you're um, responsible for a family, you know, and taking care of other um, objectives on the side. So really take care to ask questions and go online and research, get second opinions, you guys. There's something more than meets the eye about something that you're wanting to take on. Even it's 
even if it's for your greater good, like especially if it's for your greater good, make sure everything is what you would expect it to be. Guys, I hope this was a great card for you. Please let me know in the comments and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. What's up, Aries? So I have this amazing card here for your Wednesday hump day terrascope. So this is the queen of spring and there's some attributes to this energy and there's also some guidance on the card. So let me read this. Brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly. So it's like Aries, you're, you're coming into a bit of a new phase of your life and you're stepping out into the person that you genuinely are rather than the masquerade, you know? Um, you're not really projecting anymore what other people, what you think that other people want to see in you. You're being yourself without fear anymore. And I love that. And the guidance is believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. All of these are super, super important, especially knowing that people would like to help you. You know, sometimes we might not feel like people are genuine or that they have time or the desire to help you, but there are people out there, you guys, you just have to tune into them. As soon as you tune into yourself a little bit better, you'll be able to understand that there's other people on your vibrational level you know it's just like you guys are tuned into the same radio station to a certain degree right and being able to help each other um so and if you're not not able to help somebody directly back it's okay because you'll help somebody else in the future and possibly in a different way but just understand that it's okay to accept help especially if you're trying to improve yourself and you're moving forward into, I, like, I just see that Aries is really blossoming this year. It's like 2019 is your year. It could be a bit of a slow start for you. And you may not be exactly where you want to be right now, Aries, but keep on going. And if somebody sticks a hand out to pull you up, take it. Guys, I hope this was a great card. Let me know down below in the comments what you think, and I'll see you back here next time. Take care for now. What's up, Taurus? So I have this beautiful card here for your hump day terrascope, and this is the Eight of Spring. So the card says on it, stress that comes from having many things happening at once. Successful multitasking. So that seems to be like in a direct opposition, right? Being stressed out from having too many things going on, but also doing it really well. So. I think this is sort of a short-lived phase for you guys um, and sudden events or changes. So you could get a really big push of things to do and all of a sudden you're thinking, how am I gonna get all this done? But you will, you know, so don't doubt yourself in the few days coming up ahead, you guys, because you can handle this. You're definitely cut out to do multiple things at once, even if it's just for a short spurt. And that's probably what it should be because multitasking from dawn till dusk isn't really sustainable for anybody. So keep that in mind, you guys, and I'm being guided to tell you guys to make lists so you don't forget anything or anybody in the weeks coming up ahead. So good luck with juggling all these balls that look like dandelion fluffs in this card. I hope this was a great card for you guys. You could let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. What's up, Gemini? So the card I have for you from the Fairy Tarot card deck is the Prince of Spring. And this is just an adorable card here. Um, I love this deck, I hope you guys do too. So you have some specific attributes um, for, your for your personality coming up in the week ahead, being charming, self-confident, passionate, and restless. So this says immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship. So this is a pretty interesting card. It looks like you guys are gonna have a lot going on in the few days coming up ahead. So just be prepared for something sort of coming out of the blue or someone coming out of the blue. You know, it's nice to sort of mentally prepare for things. So this is your opportunity to be prepared for whatever is coming out for you here. 
immediate action. You know, somebody could call you on the phone or send you an email. Like I'm seeing for some of you, you could have inadvertently let a contract lapse or, you know, forgot to pay a bill or something like that. And it's going to require you to get on top of it. So if you see an alert for a missed phone call or you have an email where you think, oh, that's just another marketing, blah, 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 and I don't have time for that, make time for that, you guys. It could be something really important for you. And just remember that you have a really positive aura around you. So you can use that to your advantage if something did happen, like if you forgot to pay for your driver's license or whatever. Something was missed, you guys, but you're going to be so charming. Everything's going to work out for you. So I hope this is a great card, guys. You could let me know down below in the comments. I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. What's up, Cancer? So your Hump Day Tarot Scope card from the Fairy Tarot Card Deck is the King of Autumn. This is a really beautiful card, you guys. And there's some particular components to your sort of attitude or personality at the top of the card that are probably going to serve you well in the next few days. Being compassionate, um, feeling accomplished, being charismatic and gifted. So these are all really good attributes, you guys. So the guidance on the card is be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. So if possibly in the past you haven't spoken up when you've had an opportunity to, and I think you know, it can be sometimes shyness or um, maybe being anxious about being opposed by people. Don't worry about that, you guys. Like, this is your chance. You can stand up and just really have your say. If It could be in any situation. It could be work. It could be in a, um, a personal relationship. Everything going your way. A good person or company to work for. So it looks like you really have it going on. You know, things are really gelling for you. Um, but there's going to be an opportunity for you to stick up for someone or a situation. So find your voice, you guys. You're being invited by spirit to really take a stand and say, you know what, I don't think so. I don't agree with that. Or you might want to stop doing that or whatever it is. So be prepared to do that, you guys. Use all your charisma and the energy that you have coming up and... Really take care of yourself and the people around you. I hope this was a great card, you guys. You could let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. What's up, Leo? I have your Hump Day Tarot Scope card here from the Fairy Tarot Card Deck, and it is the Ace of Summer. It's just a stunning card. I just love the artwork. It's just beautiful. It just feels like a really zen vibe for you, Leo. And this says, open your heart to love. The beginning of a new int intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual pipelines. So it just looks like your world is, it's just enveloped in love right now, Leo. And being able to open up to that and being able to use your extrasensory perception to discern different levels of love. And that's what spirituality is, like just being able to open yourself up. And you can feel energy at different levels when your heart keeps on opening and opening and opening, kind of like the Grinch who stole Christmas. It's like your, your heart is going to increase by 10 times. And if you haven't seen the, the cartoon, the original cartoon version of the Grinch who stole Christmas, please do. The Dr. Seuss version. But anyway, so this is a really beautiful energy for Leo. It's like you guys could possibly have been held back or held down by a previous situation, you know, but you're really recovering it from it nicely and being able to open up. And it's kind of like everything is attracted to you because your heart is so open and full of love. I think this is just a beautiful card for you, Leo. I hope you guys think so too. You could let me know down below in the comments. We'll see you back here next time. Take care. Bye. What's up, Virgo? So I have your Hump Day Tarot Scope card from the Fairy Tarot Card deck, and the card is the King of Summer. So he's very swashbuckling and suave. And some of the attributes that you can expect to feel for yourself with the King of Summer is being honorable, devoted, mature, and warm-hearted. 
Those are really beautiful parts of a personality, even if you do have sort of like a very dim, like, I'm just gonna stop talking about that. I just think he's just so swish, you know? I think he's fabulous, but anyway. The guidance on the card is a romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor, which is really striking me from this pose here, like being able to get dressed up and go out to an event. Like if you're invited to something and you might not think it's exactly your style, or if you don't have the wardrobe to attend that kind of event, like go to a thrift stop, a thrift store and get yourself something nice and go do something different. You know, um, you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you have the budget, that's great, but you know, not everybody has a great big budget to spend on um, a really, really, fine outfit so go to the thrift shop that's my first stop for anything I'm not I'm not proud you know I love the thrift store anyway so you have a really big opportunity to show that really posh side of yourself and you know feel that really high society vibe it's kind of fun to do that sort of put on a little bit of a mask and go out there and have fun and being able to have a romantic partner that you can trust if you're currently single you could be meeting that person and that could be why you're being guided to do something completely out of your comfort zone um you know to to go out to that cultural event that you wouldn't normally go to go for it and excellent advice that comes from the heart you know that could be anybody around you somebody just I love it when people come in a, a well-meaning and, and really truly loving fashion to give you advice, you know? So it sounds like you could be having a really nice heart to heart. It just feels like you have a really healthy, positive glow, loving vibe coming up for the week ahead. I hope that you do have a great week ahead, you guys. And let me know what you think of the card in the comments below. I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. What's up, Libra? I'm just pulling your card here for your hump day terrascope. And this is the hermit card. So I'm going to turn this card around. This is a beautiful hermit. It's not like, you know, the grumpy old man that most tarot card decks have for the hermit. So this is find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. So you could just need some downtime. You know, you, you could need to just shut off all the notifications for social media, take a break from it. Um, you know, I, I feel like people don't unplug enough. And it can be, instead of reading or doing something really productive, it can be a real time killer for people, you know. Um, what did I see some somewhere? Um, Netflix... Netflix should come out with a show that I can watch kind of halfway while scrolling through social media. And I think that could be happening a little bit too much for you guys. Um, so maybe just unplug, you know, shut your phone off for a day or two and take a break so you can just feel it. It just feels completely different. Anyway, find or be a mentor. I think that's an awesome, awesome... Um, piece of advice there. If, you, if you're able to help somebody, if you're in a position to help coach somebody, I think you should. Um, you'll feel like amazing doing that. And if you need help, if you're not quite sure how to do something, if you want to take on a new sort of sport or whatever activity, find somebody that can help you out, you guys, because it's just a beautiful relationship between a mentor and a mentee, and it's amazing. And a commitment to your spiritual growth. I'm all about that and you guys spirituality whatever that looks like to you take the next step because you'll only feel better everything in this in this advice is just geared towards making you feel better so finding opportunities in your life that your future self will thank you for absolutely a great card you guys I hope you think so too you could let me know in the comments and I'll see you back here next time take care for now bye What's up, Scorpio? So I have the Three of Winter here from the Fairy Tarot card deck. And I think this is just a beautiful card, like stunning artwork. And this says, reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation. Sadness that will heal with time. 
so this could be something recent or it could be something a little bit historical, not being able to release some kind of pain. You know, um, I know it's, it's kind of easy to think that things will go away on their own, but sometimes they don't. So if you're dealing with something, like if you're not truly healed from a situation, then you might need help for it, for, to get through it, to talk it out. Um, I read once that being able to tell your story without crying indicates a healing. So if you have something in your past or you know your current reality that hurts you to the point where you cannot discuss it without breaking down, feeling really emotionally sad, you're not over it yet. You could just need somebody to talk to or maybe you just need to start some new sort of hobby to distract you or find some way to work it out. Um, you know, don't be shy to reach out. There's all kinds of groups out there, you guys, that you could share your story with. There's so much going on and, and healing is really important so that you can kind of close off the chapter and move on to the next phase of your life. I hope you guys are doing okay. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed the cards. You could let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Take care. Bye for now. What's up, Sagittarius? So your hump day tarot scope card is the 10 of spring. And I really like this card. Like the, the artwork is just absolutely stunning on it. So let's see what the guidance is for you the week ahead. Ask for help from others. All work and no play being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Honestly, when I look at this card, I'm really reminded of Cinderella. And if you have read the Cinderella story, you know that it's all work. You know, Cinderella is always like with her wicked stepmother cracking the whip over top of her, get to work, get to work, and she never gets to go to the ball. So you need to give yourself permission to go to the ball, you guys. You know, put down the, the tools of your trade or, you know, if you have a little bit of a, a cleaning obsession or whatever it is, it's time to give that a break and give yourself a break. You know, we get so caught up in the, you know, the nine to five and then you go home and you do the second shift at home. Um, just getting everything done. You forget to pay yourself. You should pay yourself first. You know, when you're organizing your day, you should plan in the time, okay, where's my me time? Where's my 20 minutes to have a quiet cup of coffee? Or where's my 10 minutes to do a quick meditation or my hour to have a bubble bath and relax, like whatever it is. Make sure you do that, you guys, because you know, you're know you here to do more than to work and pay bills and keep that in mind. You are your most important asset. So guys, I hope this was an interesting card for you. Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you back here next time. Take care for now. What's up, Capricorn? So I have your card here from the Fairy Tarot card deck, and it is the 10 of Autumn. And this says, take steps to ensure, did I show you the card? Sorry. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Making wise investments or planning for retirement. Honoring family traditions. So, you know, that's one thing about school is they don't really teach people um, how to plan for your future, you know, um, not probably not until you're at the college level. And if you're not in that kind of course, they're probably not teaching you how to manage your money and how to start saving for your future. So it's really important. And if you don't know what you're doing, just go online and do some research. You know, you can start saving for as little as five to ten dollars a paycheck and if you think you can't afford it you know um, maybe cut one thing out of your budget so you can start saving it's really important you, you just really have to have some sort of a nest egg for your protection and for your future and there was another line here it says have honoring family traditions I really love that you know um, I don't really have a lot of family traditions um, from my parents. So I had to, I started creating my own family traditions for my children, you know, so 
I think it's really important to honor those family traditions. If you have a specific culture or religion or faith where you have really important and heartfelt traditions to keep those going because it really, it honors your roots and it honors the, the thousand people that came before you, you know? So I think that's a really beautiful sentiment. Guys, I, I hope this was an interesting card here. Definitely lots to think about um, for the few days coming up ahead and your, the rest of your life, really. So I hope you enjoyed the card, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you back here next time. Take care. Bye.